Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thanks for coming out to join me for another day out at my property. In today's video, I install the doors to the shed. This is a milestone. It really is a big day. The shed is finished. Come on along and let's see how I get those doors installed. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm setting up my sawhorses with some boards here to create a workstation to make the doors for the shed. It's the final step in really buttoning down the shed so I can start to store things and secure them inside the shed. I decided to use these T111 plywood siding, siding panels for the doors because if I was to make them out of the 1x6s and the support frame, I'd end up with a very heavy door and I just didn't have the available hinges to hang very heavy doors. So that's the main reason why I went with the T111. And as you can see, it has a faux board and batten look to it so it will fit in with the overall board and batten design of the shed. I used some 2x4s that I milled recently as well as some old 2x4s I had lying around to build the structural support for the door panels. Once cut to length, I started to assemble and attach the 2x4s to the panels. I attached them to the panels using a drill driver and leftover screws I had from a previous project. The doors aren't heavy, but it is tricky to hang them because they are awkward and bulky to try to move around. So what I've done here, and unfortunately you can't see it given my saw horses and the other door panel, is that I put the door into the frame so the heel of the door is resting actually up on a quarter inch shim as well. But I have put a jack at the other end of the door uh, closest to the ground so that once I've secured one screw, the door panel will hang in place. There you see the panels hanging there, and that's because I have a jack with some blocks holding up the far end of the door. Hanging a large door panel like this as one person takes a little bit extra time as you'll see in the following uh, minute or so, I spend a lot of time adjusting 
checking the level, checking the plumb, adjusting again, grabbing the level yet again to go back and forth to make sure that the door panel is plumb and level inside the door frame. A lot of fidgety adjustments and patience were required to get it just right and once it came together it was really quick and easy to get all the screws in place. Well, this uh, really is a milestone for me here out at the property. Um, a milestone because I finally, essentially, have completed this shed. Yes, there are some details to do with some of the doors, with the doors, sorry, not some of the doors. I gotta get uh, the proper locking on there, but what I'm gonna do is just nail it shut tonight. And um, the milestone is that I don't have to throw all of this gear, all of this gear that you see all along here, here, sitting on top of the wheelbarrow, the blades, I don't have to throw it all on the back of the truck and take it back home. I finally have a place out here where it can be secured and I don't have to be a, a mule every day. So that really is a uh, an accomplishment. Like I said, it's a milestone. It's uh, taken me several more weeks than I'd expected to get this completed. But I have to keep reminding myself I'm just uh, one person and this is the plan I have to develop a few buildings on this property and then uh, take it from there. And this is the first one. So like I said, probably 90 or 85 to 90 percent of the material was milled on the woodland mills. And uh, I had to buy the material for the floor, pressure treated lumber, OSB. And I didn't have to, but I went and I bought uh, these two sheets of T111 siding for the doors. Much later door and some, some bracketry and the hinges, obviously. So um, it's coming along well, or I say it's come along. And now I'm going to clean it up on Monday, get most of that wood out of there, store it outside somewhere, complete, com, uh, create some level areas to stack the wood. And... Um, Get the space in there for more of the equipment. Everybody have a good weekend.